I... I guess I should be excited this finally happened, but I don't know how to feel. Let me break it down for you. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here, and we have finally, in Raid Shadow Legends, they have given us the ability to buy barrels and feasts. And the question of the day in this short video for you is, should you be buying them? So let me break down the prices for you, and I will give you my opinions, but uh, TLDR... This is not how I was hoping this would start out for us, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised, right? Um, uh, just generally speaking, not always, but if it has a purchase limit over 1, so if it's purchase limit 2, 3, 4, 5, 17, whatever, it's usually not as good of a deal. Not always, but it's just like a little thing that is helpful. Okay, so the question is, how much are these worth? Okay, the barrels. How much is it worth? Okay, like, uh, and that's that's still a little bit up in the air. But the rest of it is very settled. You know, when I'm pricing the chickens, they usually sell for in the good packs about four dollars a piece. So twenty dollars for five five star chickens, about one dollar per million silver. And then um, I just take a zero off here, okay? Or uh, yeah, so I, I take two zeros off. So if it's 800 gems, basically 100 gems is a dollar in my calculations for the good gems. If you exclude the gem pack, obviously, because that does not that just messes up the calculations. Daily gem pack is obviously OP. So this would be uh, 20. Two and eight, so thirty. So if we take thirty, we have twenty dollars left over. That's almost seven dollars a piece for these barrels, which I do not think is a good deal at all. Um, basically, if you're gonna take a, a level one all the way from one to sixty, um, you use over 100 brews but i don't remember the exact amount okay and like if this was 100 brews you would be like what are they thinking here right or even if it was 300 right or even if it was 400 even if it was 500 you know even the times when they put a thousand in there it's like i i don't know it's just that that just doesn't seem worth it now, the whole point of the barrels is that it's one-click max, right? Which is great. But, that's not worth $7, in my opinion. So then, coming over here to the King's Feast is, like, a little bit better, in my opinion. It's If it was the same price, I'd be recommending you buy it. But because they had to, like, grind us in there and get this up to 60 then it makes it not quite as good. So, again... Five five-star chickens is the same as one king's feast in some situations, okay? Uh, if you have, like, a three-star level 30, then, obviously, you're going to get a lot more value out of your feast. So, it would be worth more than the $20 that I'm assigning to the five-star chickens, okay? But, here's the thing, though. You're not going to be maxing out rares very often, especially not with feasts. So, what if you do it with an epic then? Okay, you're saving four four-star chickens. So, if this is four four-star chickens and five five-star chickens twice, then that would be uh, $40 for the ten five-star chickens, and then 16 no wait, eight eight for the four for the eight four star chickens and then we have another ten dollars same calculation here so that would be 48 58 so you know if you throw in a couple dollars for that then this is right on point if you're using this to max epics 
So of the two, the King's Feast is way better, way better. Like this should be $30 for me to be excited about this. It should be $30, almost half. And if they wanted to make this a good deal, it should be $50, $40, something like that. Like, especially for the first time in the shop, Plarium, do you not know? Like, yes, some people will buy this, but like $50 and and $60, I'd be interested to know if there's a lower version of this, because I'm in the highest spending tier, so if there's a lower version of this, let me know in the comments below, tell me, are you buying these, if I had to give you my opinion, spend the extra $10 and buy this, or skip these completely, and just get your chickens from events and tournaments, and like, grinding in the game, but... I will say, um, maybe it's just me, but I really do love having um, a barrel handy from time to time. It just saves so much time. But once Polarium puts in the game, the little toggle, which let's go over here and I'll tell you what I mean. Uh, Commentation gifts, very nice. The little toggle over here. We're supposed to be getting a toggle, so if I want to put like... 100 brews into a champion, I'll be able to just like do a little slide bar. That should be coming in a month or so, um, but we don't have confirmation on that. Sorry, excuse me. So uh, hopefully I'll have another video out on my channel today, and then you can come and see a sweet uh, team for the Hydra clan boss. It is outstanding. I should have that uploaded. Uh, I was editing it while we were, <laughs> while I got this information. So I wanted to make sure to get this out for you. And then, um, am I putting the right champions in here? Yes. No. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. What are you doing, Jedi? Those are five five-star chickens. Let's put the assassins in here. And then let's finish the video, because these people do not need to see all of this nonsense that you're doing here. Alright, so thank you so much for watching. Let me know, are you buying this? Are you skipping this? Um, for me, I'm a little disappointed in the first deal. Like, okay, it's normal pricing, but, um, but the fact that this is like the first time that it's in the shop, boo. Uh, but like I said... Buy the one on the right if you're going to buy one. Let me know in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.